right outside today. I'm freezing my little titty totters off. My little jibby job is fucking freezing cold. <laughs> oh, I forgot a wedgie. I've got a big fat fucking wedgie today, darling. Where are my socks? I need some fucking socks on my tootsies. My little tootsie rolls are freezing. Not me looking like this. Ow! My necklace just pinched me. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Hope you're doing well. Howdy, partners. Um, I got home from Christmas last night. As in, I drove home from my parents' house. I was there for like four days and I feel like it went long enough. And now I feel like it was so weird. Like, whilst I was back home, I felt super, super Christmas day. And before I went, I felt super, super Christmas day. And then, literally, as I arrived home, I was like, oh, Christmas is over. Like, literally, as I got home, I said to her, Christmas went really fast and now it's like done. Which is how it works. Anyway, I thought I would vlog today. Also, look how cute these slippers are. So I wanted some of those Ugg slippers that everyone's wearing right now just because I feel like wearing my, I wear these slippers all the time which are like the old just normal slippers and they're the coziest thing ever. But I don't know if you can tell, the fur on these compared to like on these is gone really like, I've had them for a while. I wear them all the time and they're like an inside slipper. Whereas these, I feel like I can go and collect Uber Eats in these. I can nip to the shop in these. I can like, these are like the four by four version of my other slippers. Like these are four wheel drive. Whereas the other ones are just like, I don't even know what they other ones are, if I'm being honest. The other ones are like a golf buggy and these are like an actual car. So these are my new mode of transport, as you can see. Also, my room is a mess. In fact, no, it's not that bad. I take that back. It's not that bad at all. I need to make my bed. I have this lovely little arrangement. I feel like I, <gasps> I just stood on my laptop. I feel like I want more colour in my room. Ignore that ASOS box. They're the same slippers. I just need to send them back. So I'm trying to like put shoes out and like a bit of greenery in my room. I got this from um, Home Sense whilst I were home. The Home Sense in Sheffield. Oh boy, the Home Sense in Sheffield is really really good so I went there whilst I was back home and picked that up and I don't know what's going on with the weather today like I'm really confused about what's happening and yes I'm giving very ET energy in this hood but look at the weather it's literally like I can't even see the top of that building how are those people seeing outside crazy Crazy, crazy. God, smoking a storm. God, it's really up there 420 bags in it, isn't it? Bloody hell. Look at this jacket. Now I know this is just the intro to the vlog and it's already like three minutes long, but you're just gonna have to deal with it because if you don't realize that I talk too much already, then I don't know what to say, but I got this. I arrived back to a few parcels, basically. I ordered this off Depop. How fucking beautiful is this jacket? Like the way it fits, like the boxiness of the body and then the big arms. I got a big head and little arms. I just fucking love it. Nice little car hop moment. So so I will be wearing this a lot. This is my new favorite jacket. I feel like Ariana Grande. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna end this clip. I'm gonna go to the kitchen and make myself some breakfast. Has has gone for a haircut. Haircut or hair appointment this morning. So I'm all alone. There's no one here besides me. My problems have all gone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to episode 5,000 of Byron Butchered His Breakfast. I burnt my toast. I really don't have anything in the fridge. Like, literally don't have anything in the fridge at all. So I, I'm gonna eat this and then go to Asda. I've got the worst belly. Like, this is really, really TMI. However, I have the worst belly. I had like a Chinese type thing last night and it was so so nice but I had like spicy chicken so I need to do a spicy poo just throwing it out there and I've tried believe me I've tried and like this still it's it's not complete yet like the journey's not over we're like opening chapter two soon um, and I just want to get to the end of the book already and I need to go to Asda and I need to go to Asda pretty pronto because I literally don't have anything in my cupboards I don't have anything in my cupboard so i need to get food but matt sammy is making funny funny suggestions so i'm hoping this does the trick i should i could make a coffee but i don't have milk i don't even know where i'm having a black coffee you know so gonna sit here eat my breakfast and wait for the motions of the oceans and then go to Asda. I don't want to be in Asda needing to shit my pants. So I mean that's not the vibe I'm going for. On this lovely Wednesday evening, I'm not shitting my pants in Asda. I'm not. I'm not. Uh-uh. Not the right. I'm still I'm still Jenny from the black. Why is it so bright in here? Why is it so bright? Hi everyone. So I've had my breakfast. I haven't had a poo yet, but it's getting on. It's now one o'clock and I don't know what the fuck I've just been doing for like the past like hour. I literally thought it was still the morning and I just checked my phone because I was like, can I go to Asda in my slippers? Like, is it still like an acceptable time? Like, I feel like you either have to go early in the morning or you have to go like late in the evening if you're wearing your slippers. So I don't want to be judged, especially because I'm going on my own. Has is still at the hairdressers and she went at like 9 o'clock this morning so I don't know what the fuck this bitch is getting done but I feel like she's gonna come back with a new full wig. So I can't wear my slippers and I just checked the time to see if I could wear my slippers and realised it's 1 o'clock. The slippers are off. I'm gonna have to put trainers on. But I'm still gonna go in this exact outfit 
because I am staying cozy, staying warm, and I cannot be bothered. Also, why is this hood so damn small? I need a hoodie in my life with an actual hood that caters for large brains. Like, I've got a lot of thoughts in this head. I just need a hood that actually fits. So, if anyone knows any companies with hoods that actually fit people's heads, please do let me know. Or maybe I'm releasing a hoodie with a hood that fits my head. Oops, I mean, what? I mean, did I actually just say that? I mean, like, am I gonna have to ask if I can actually say that? I mean, or am I just gonna put it in anyway? I mean, keep your eyes peeled. Do you know what? This is my, I'm literally just running to ask the look. However, I think it's so fucking cool. Like, I actually would wear this. Say I actually would wear this as an actual outfit. I am wearing it as an actual outfit. But this is literally just meant to be, like, a cozy little, little moment. Um, and I think it looks so fucking cool. So, let's go to Asda. I don't know if I ever really explained this in a vlog or anything. However, I now have a car park in the car parking space like in the actual apartment complex for the longest time I would literally just park in my car in like a random car park down the road however I got a car parking space in the car park and it does in fact mean that my car is not iced over anymore like I was literally going outside for the longest time and my car was super icy and also I've just realized whilst I went back home I paid to have my car cleaned believe it or not my car was in fact cleaned and then I drove home in the snow and this is now what it looks like. <laughs> I'm actually so annoyed at how dirty my car is. Like, that's so annoying. I literally paid, not yesterday, the day before, to have my car cleaned. And now it looks like this. So I'm going to have to go to the car wash again. What it's from, it's like all the sleet, not the sleet, all the grit and stuff that they put on the roads. Obviously, when it was snowing, it was like fl splashing back as they drove home from the cars in front. Oh, it's also freezing in my car. Right, I'm not going to actually vlog myself driving there because I feel like we've all had a bit too much of me driving and we also know that me driving ends badly every single time while I'm filming it so what I'm gonna do is I'll just check in with you when I get to Asda <gasps> freezing I also want to listen to music I, play, I made a new playlist if you see my main channel video don't know when it's going up my little drive with me I made a playlist and I want to listen to it so that is what I'm going to do I just need my car to connect to my phone oh my lord it's fucking freezing cold get the heat in oh boy oh I don't even know why I bothered getting contacts because I've really like worn them probably like 10 times but I've not got my contacts in so the glasses are coming out I never ever film or anything with my glasses anymore in fact I never really wear my glasses apart from when I'm driving and I should wear them all the time but here we are once again feeling lost but now and then I actually think my brain is wired up wrong because why do I have a song for absolutely everything it's not what it seems and it's always like Disney Channel related. I think I'm corrupt. I think my brain is corrupt. What song's gonna come on? Right, I'm gonna end this now. I'm gonna drive. Let's ride. Right, I made it to Asda. Um, why am I putting my mask on just now? And you know what? I'm proud of myself. I actually made it here without using my sat nav once. So the first time I've drove towards the Trafford and I actually had to use my sat nav. I mean, I've literally been here like 15 times. So you probably think I would get the gist of like knowing where I'm going. However, it's not happened yet. Apart from today. Today we reign victorious. Tonight we are victorious. Right, I need to stop with the songs. I need to go and do my food shop. There's a trolley in the middle of the thing and I don't know if it's been put there on purpose but I think I'm gonna move it because I don't want it to hit into my car. Let's go. I can't tell if that was a successful food shop. I didn't write a shopping list stupidly so I couldn't really remember what I exactly needed. I was trying to envision my fridge. I basically, I'm starving so I just sort of walked around and like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I don't know if I've got any meals. I've also just picked up snacks. Oh, I've just touched my mouth and I should hand sanitize. Also guys, I don't know what's happened to my hands but I've come out in like some sort of rash and I don't know what it's from. I don't know if it's from the different hand sanitizers. Like obviously whenever you go in and out of anywhere, they make your hand sanitize and I don't know if it's like had an allergic reaction to my skin or like just all the different chemicals mixing together has like done something to me but my hands feel like they've got stinging nettle marks all over them so that's the situation I need to now drive home I want to check there's a little um, petrol station in front and I believe it's like the one that's in Sheffield and the Asda at Sheffield there's like a little jet washing machine that you can jet wash your car who's saying that they have one I don't think they will but we shall see we shall see my goodness it is busy out in these streets madame you Use your fucking indicators, you stupid wankers. Oh, they don't have one. Oh, bloody bastard. Just got home, the slippers are back on. Time to unpack the shopping. 
Uh oh. Oh my god, everyone. Hi, it's me. I don't know why I said oh my god. I really didn't mean to say oh my god. Hi, everyone. So, a lot has changed in the past two hours. It literally is now dark. I obviously went to Asda, unpacked my shopping, I came back and made myself food. I have now just had a shower, as you can see. Um, basically, we just got told we're going into tier four from tomorrow. You know what? I'm overwhelmed. I'm overjoyed. I am living for this. I think it's great news. I fucking hate it. I don't know how. Sheffield is not in tier four, but Manchester is. You know what? I came back from Sheffield yesterday. I should have just stayed. I should have just stayed in tier three. Not that really much is different apart from you can go to the shops there. The shops are now closing here. Didn't really go to the shops anyway, but you know, I still could have gone on the sunbed back home and that's exactly what I just did. I literally heard the news and were like, right, I cannot get pale again. So I'm running to the sunbed shop. So full disclaimer again, I feel like every time I mention the sunbed, I've got to say I'm not promoting it, not advising it, but it's my body and I'm dumb and don't take anything that I say as anything and don't follow my rules do a leap on new rules but yeah i just literally ran to the sunbed shop so i came back showered and now it is five o'clock and i need to eat again i feel like all i've done in this vlog is say oh my god i'm starving oh my god i'm gonna get food oh my god i'm home oh my god tier four oh my god let's eat again um uh, that's the current situation look how much has us done of the puzzle as well so before i went home for christmas in one of my vlogs i showed that i were doing a puzzle a wise wally puzzle and look it's so so nearly done there's literally just these pieces left to put on it and then it is done and then it's going down in the post has his nan for her to do but yeah has saved the final last pieces for me so i think i'm gonna sit tonight and put these on also i'm excited i know i literally went on about getting a garland and stuff for the table for the longest time but i am hate to admit it excited for it to go i'm excited for it to look tidy again i'm excited for this to be done so we can finish it and put it back in the box and i'm not excited for the christmas tree to go everything else can fucking leave would you look at that Ta-da! Ooh, where's wally though is that he is 